Hi, I'm Cholo Choi, the CTO of Wilokem Company in Korea. Today, I would like to present you about die draw or called die buildup. What do we call die buildup or die draw? Uh, it is the phenomenon that uh, molten plastics or materials are built up on the open surface of die face. The synonyms are die draw, die buildup, and the plate out. But plate out has another meaning, so that uh, it is seldom used. It is not exactly known what, why die buildup occurs, but uh, below things are suspected to be the main reasons. The main reasons, the inclusion of low molecular weight polymer and uh, inclusion of moisture and or volatile materials, existence of pillars, especially for the fiber-like uh, pillars. Bad dispersion of pigment, rate of draw out or take off, amount and the rate of dye swell, and uh, other small kind of lesions. Okay, uh, what happened uh, between uh, molten polymer and the mold wall? It is very necessary to know uh, why this dye rule happens. <clears throat> flow rate of polymer in the center inside the mold is uh, maximum in this case. That, uh, as you see, the, the, um, this part is uh, mold, the gray part is mold, and uh, the yellow part is uh, polymer, molten polymer. And the uh, center of the, the molten polymer, the, the speed is maximum, and, and, and the uh, on the wall, the, the, the speed is uh, the molten polymer speed is zero. The rate of position is the same after mold. As you see here, that uh, the extrude date uh, goes at the same at the same speed outside of mold. The dye at the very open surface that uh, late uh, becomes very fast at the position of the wall in in the mold. Actually, that this means that. Uh, um, the, the speed on the wall was zero, however, it, right after uh, it comes out from the mold, the, the speed becomes quite fast, uh, quite fast. Because of this, the, the, there are lots of shear stress occurs in this part, because the, the, the speed here is almost zero, however, get out immediately, get out from the mold, it becomes very fast. So, um, because of this, that uh, the, as, as I told you, um, the, there are big uh, shear stress occurs. Polymer melting is accelerated in this position, and uh, um, the tensile it, uh, and because of speed, the uh, tensile is quite big. So um, the molecule will be broken very easily at this part. So the molecules, each molecule become, becomes very small. And uh, the, in the center position, that uh, center is very fast, but uh, it is fresh, uh, the speed is quite much reduced. Because of this, the, the speed is uh, in this side shift and uh, becomes pressurized in this side and become, make swell outside of the uh, extrude, extrude date. Um, so the, um, the the because because of this reason that uh, um, uh, it make the small molecule as I uh, as I told you in in previous page, um, but the molecule is small and uh, also the big pressure or something. And uh, also um, inside mold, because of the, the velocity here, the flow rate is zero. Because of that, uh, the heat from the outside uh, make uh, make the, the polymer burn and then uh, gel. So uh, lots of gel and also black specks are, are made here, and it also becomes the dye drool outside. Okay, <coughs> so. Um, Tide rule is the most uh, severe phenomenon occurred by previous mentioned lesions, actually. Tide rule is basically the deposit of uh, low molecular burnt of uh, polymers or pillars on the mold's open surface. Once the deposit, I mean the tide rule, put on the surface and then make it defective product, I mean the 
the, the product surface and then uh, make a defective product. It is more severe if the polymer contains pillars, if especially for five pillars. It occurs when the extrusion pressure on the, or temperature are too high because the, the molecules are burnt, uh, burnt more easily and uh, um, what to say, it uh, becomes raw molecule very easily. It occurs with the relationship of uh, molten polymer and uh, their prorate in the mold. Okay, now we see uh, what uh, by by picture that uh, how the diet rule uh, made here that uh, this is the hole of dye, and the material is coming out to make shape of round like this, the cable wire or something. And then uh, the, some deposits are uh, built up on the, uh, the open surface outside here. And then uh, it is gradually becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, it goes, touches inside the product uh, here and uh, come out, um, put together with the material, uh, I mean the product, and becomes like this. This deposit put on the surface of line shape of the extruded artic uh, article partly or completely and becomes like this. And the uh, deposit makes the extruded article to be torn or clipped because of the, the um, um, this part put uh, here and make it make it make it uh, torn or clipped. Now I would like to tell you about the solution of tight rule. In first of all, we need to make the the die wall uh, the pro rate should be uh, should not be zero. Actually, this is the key point. We use a, a proper processing additive here, and then uh, we make the we can make the the this position speed, I mean, flow rate is not zero, actually, and then make a, a similar speed like this. Um, actually, this kind of processing additive is, has uh, a very good affinity with the metals, and uh, uh, they'll make a, a layer between polymer, molten polymer, and the metal surface wall. It reduces shear stress here and eliminates the melt fracture, actually. The melt fracture, uh, it is uh, at, uh, one kind of reason of uh, the cleaving or tearing of the, the edges, basically, outside or outside. OK, in this point of view, that, uh, we have a very good product called the TPX1000. Uh, it is a very, very good product for lubrication and dispersion and uh, other applications. This is uh, um, also a very good function for tight rule prevention and elimination, we call it elimination sometimes. And because um, this material has very good affinity with uh, metal surface, so um, this is uh, used for PVC cable uh, high-speed extrusion. and. Uh, when we use for TPX, uh, TPE product, products, the, it enhanced extrusion rate and uh, also departing or inject for uh, injection molded articles for when we do the injection molding. You know, I normal, I normal is very very sticky material. I normal products uh, departing um, is very good for with the uh, TPX one thousand. So um, we also use uh, uh, TPX 1000 when we test the material, very sticky material using the using needles. In other cases, that um, it's a uh, uh, very thin layer is necessary between metal mold and molten polymers. Um, this product should be the perfect uh, to use. Okay, and we have uh, another product TPX 1300 uh, and TPX 1.00. This is also very good lubrica lubrication and uh, good for lubrication and dispersion and for other applications. This is uh, very good for the uh, melt fracture prevention of high field case, like uh, wood plastic composite. The prevention of uh, me uh, melt fracture while uh, producing high wood powder field WPC products is uh, really, really good and um, um, can increase the speed a lot. 
In other cases, same as with TPX 1000, this is um, also uh, good for the thin layer, uh, to, to making thin layer for between metal mold and uh, uh, molten polymers. Yeah, this is uh, an example that uh, uh, when using the bed lubric lubricant at the lower, lower extrusion speed that uh, edges the surface are toned very much very, very much like this. It is because of the, the, the surface and the mold in the inside mold surface, it is, um, the, the pro is uh, quite very, very small. I mean, small, little speed, I mean, small speed inside and then get out uh, of the, the mold and it become, it make the, the edge tail like this. However, using TPX1400, um, at, even at the, um, Double production speed surface is very, very smooth like this, so uh, it is very necessary to use uh, this kind of uh, lubricant for the produ production. It's uh, very sure. And uh, this is uh, another case that, um, as you see on the surface, that of the white, white surface, you know, because of the bad lubrication, surfaces are like this, and uh, even small defects here. Uh, with uh, because of the bad lubrica lubricants. Okay, we have uh, another case that another product TPX 4000. 4000 is very very good products for the uh, lubrication and uh, dispersion and other application. And this product has a very very special function that um, working with uh, uh, polar polymers like uh, PVC, a HMBR, ACM, AM, and CP is when using with them is uh, very, very good. And uh, because uh, with the polar, this product is very non-polar, very, very non-polar, perfectly non-polar. So uh, when using with uh, the polar polymers, this is uh, very good, working as a very good external lubricant. So um, it's, um, Anyway, it's very good. Yeah, I, I've been sold, selling these products for a long time, quite big quantity to the customers. Yeah, working working very well. And then um, it, this is also working very well with the ACM, AEM, CP, and uh, other halogenated polymers. And uh, this product basically has very, very good heat stability. So it is uh, much used for the polycarbonated, polycarbonate processing. And uh, we need, we, as we see the, the example, how we use TPX 4000. In case of, uh, we, we make uh, the, the bellows by injection molding. Uh, material is HMBR, and uh, it is uh, containing uh, TPX 4000, not containing TPX 4000. Yeah, as you can see here, that uh, the pressure difference between here to here is very, very big. It's very difficult to make uh, uh, injection molding to make uh, these blows. However, using TPX 4000, there is uh, almost no pressure drop here. This, uh, this part, pressure drop is too much. So it's, uh, the product should be on uh, this side, this side, density should be different, and also quality uh, should be very, very um, low because uh, the, it's a the, uh, lot of power used for the to injection mold this uh, bellows from this side to this side. That, uh, so when uh, the material uh, is filled inside the mold here, that, uh, there is no pressure, almost no pressure just uh, uh, to press the product uh, firmly. However, as you see here, from here to here, there is uh, um, Injection molded very, very smoothly. So um, for the polar polymers, this is a really, really perfect material. And uh, some customers that uh, um, they say that uh, this is really fantastic material. Yeah. So I strongly recommend it. I strongly recommend TPX 4000 for your polar, um, like uh, PVC uh, HMBR products. Okay, thank you very much to um, watch my presentation. Um, I appreciate I appreciate that, and um, yeah, we we'll see you next time. 
오케이 감사합니다. 땡큐.